If you've ever seen trains before, especially in the 2010s, you may have noticed locomotives like this. Or this. Or even this. Right off the bat, you may notice how they look a lot older and also that they've been stamped with new markings. This is because the locomotive used to belong to a railroad company that has been merged into a bigger one. Long ago, there were lots more railroads than just the big five railroads we see today. In the 1990s, a lot of railroad companies were struggling as railroads were merging together to expand their routes. And so that meant, if you were a big railroad, you had to merge with another railroad to keep up with the competition. Take this locomotive for example. This is a Santa Fe C44-9W. Notice the BNSF markings beneath the number indicating that it's now owned by BNSF. This is because in the 1990s, the Santa Fe Railroad merged with the Burlington Northern Railroad, creating BNSF, which stands for Burlington Northern Santa Fe. When the railroads merged, their locomotive fleets were also merged together, and this locomotive here is one of the original ones from before the merger. These mergers happened a long, long time ago, which means these locomotives are at risk of being repainted or rebuilt, as they are in an outdated livery, which makes them super rare to see. Now take a look at this locomotive. Notice the big text saying BNSF? This was originally a Burlington Northern SD70 Mac painted in the nicknamed Executive Livery. These locomotives are primarily assigned to coal trains, and you can see them either at the front or back of them every once in a while. As mentioned before, this locomotive was inherited into BNSF when Burlington Northern and Santa Fe merged. Now take a look at this locomotive. Notice the big text saying Southern Pacific? Well, right on, because that's the railroad that used to own this AC4400 CW locomotive. They were merged with the Union Pacific Railroad in the 1990s as well as Southern Pacific's fleet of locomotives, which is now under Union Pacific ownership. These locomotives are a lot harder to find as Union Pacific has began rebuilding them at a rapid pace. As you can see, these locomotives are roaring pieces of history that mean a lot to rail fans, which is why we love to try to catch these while we still can. And since they're hard to see, it's an awesome experience once you do get to see one, or even make a bet on one. I said I bet you there wasn't one on there. <laughs> I bet you there is for 50 bucks. Dang it!